I declare Honorable Ngoga Karoli Martin. In December 2017, the election of the Speaker of the East African Legislative Assembly was marred by chaos that arose when Tanzania and the Burundi representatives staged the boycott. I, Ngoga Karoli Martin, there is no quorum in this house. Burundi, one of the partner states together with the Secretary General, Iberat Mufumkeko, who also hails from Burundi, sued Ngoga and the Assembly, citing lack of quorum in the election. The main contention was that the election of the Speaker was not done according to the rules. That was the main contention. Now, the East African Court of Justice is set to deliver its verdict on Tuesday on whether Martin Ngoga should remain the Speaker or not. Which was filed by the Attorney General of Burundi versus the Secretary General of the East African Community. Uh, this case, as far as I'm concerned, judgment has been set for the 2nd of July and uh, the court will be ready to deliver the judgment on that day. During a meeting with journalists under the umbrella organization, the Media Institute of Southern Africa, Ngoga said he would abide by the court decision. Uh, when people go to court, it's, it's, it's a positive sign. Even if I am the one being taken to court. Mm -hmm. You know, when I was elected speaker here, there is a part in the state that went to court. So I said, yeah, this is fine. If, if you are not happy with the situation and you go to court, then that is the whole idea of having these institutions in place. Well, it doesn't matter whether what happens is in my favor or not. Uganda's representative Fred Mukasambide is on the legal team representing Goga in the Arusha based court. One country out of the blue sued for grievances that took place under the said election. They were not members, they, were not, they did not elect, they did not lose, they did not win. So we have aliens before court seeking that court makes determination of issues regarding those that actually are not part of this, the court suit. If Ngoga loses the case, it is likely that the assembly will degenerate into further political bickering between Rwanda and Burundi. Because that is what one would call in the unlikely event uh, that a contrary decision is taken from what we think it should be taken in the circumstances. Obviously we shall... Uh, take recourse to the available rules and, uh, and laws governing East Africa to the extent that we shall make such material particulars appealable until a resolution is given that we think is justiciable in the nature. The Third Assembly spent nearly two years in fights that resulted in the censure of Margaret Natongo Zua, who was the speaker at the time. Zua sued the Assembly and she was awarded a hefty sum of money for what the ESC court said was high illegal removal from office. Jingo Francis, NTV, Weekend Edition.